Hey folks, this is Vagrant. Welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In the last video, we talked to Bludo. He's the boss boy. And he unfortunately has some back trouble. And the painkillers didn't really work. Let me check this. Huh. Boo. Painkillers didn't really work, so unfortunately we have to go and talk to somebody. You know, Bo? Yunobo. We're going to go talk to Yunobo because the Pluto can't activate the cannon, but, you know, maybe we can activate the cannon. So basically we're doing a Divine Beast quest. It's all very exciting. Where are my rupees? <laughs> they are nowhere. Ah, hello, Pikango. You are absolutely everywhere, aren't you, buddy? <clears throat> Been all over the world. This place is truly the hosses of them all. I'd die here without a fireproof elixir. Yeah, I'm not sure I'll be able to draw anything here. I'll just burn the scenery into my memory. Hey, we meet again. Are you out traveling as well? I've traveled all over the world. I'm happy to tell you about new places if you want. If you have a picture to show me, let's see it already. There you go. Now, my phone is on the other side of the room and plugged in, so I can't take a photo of this one. I can see Hyrule Castle and the Great Hyrule Forest, which neighbors it to the north. Looking down on the Great Hyrule Forest from the southeast. Okay. So... Oh, okay, let me just... Burn that into my memory. Southeast, okay. That reminds me, if you travel south of here, you'll find a stable called the Woodland Stable. Here, there's some high ground north of the Woodland Stable with an incredible view. Sorry, that's all I know. Okay, so southeast. This is Hyrule Forest. So, southeast of Hyrule Forest. Are we talking, like, here, maybe? I'm going to put a little marker. Right, we need a new marker type. Uh, that I've used for foliage. Stars. I, I used one already. Didn't I use the cooking pot? What did I use last time? I've got one over here somewhere. That's the stone guy. What marker did I use? Oh, I used the gem. Okay, I'm using the gems, apparently. Gems mean... Um, gems mean memory spot, or potential memory spot. Right. Jeez, Pekango, you're a good egg. Am I going the right way? I am going entirely the wrong way, apparently. How is that possible? No idea. Oh, we need to go... Is there a bridge above me? Yeah, okay. Uh, that's where I'm going? Question mark, smiley face? I think so. Anywho, <clears throat> let's hop up here. Sure, this will be fine. Sure, this is correct. If I just if I just point myself in roughly the right direction, I'll get there eventually, right? Yeah, that, that always works. So, this is the first episode since... I'm still going the wrong way. I guess I don't have a bow, apparently. Look at that absolute beauty. No, no. No, no. Thank you. Give me your meat, birds. I really like this instant roasting thing. It means I can't use it in other recipes, but it's good food to have around. You know, it's, it's handy. It's like a little meal kind of thing. I'm really not sure this is the way the game wanted me to go, but whatever. <laughs> it's gonna work. <clears throat> Anyways, in the past couple of videos, I've been talking about the bench press, right? And so I did it last night. This is the first post bench press video I've done. And unfortunately, I didn't make it. I did do more than last week. So I do five sets of five, the idea. And if I do five sets of five, then I add weight next week to the, to the press. Um... Alright. Alright. No, no, no. Come here. That's a lot of choo choo jelly. A lot of jelly. A lot of green. That's well, orange, but still. And, um, I don't have a sledge, do I? No, but I do have this stupid sword, which is on fire, so I'm just gonna <laughs> burn through this nice and quick. Thank you. So, yeah, I, I tried it yesterday um, for the second time. So the first week I did 55243, five, I believe. It's a hard weight, 80 kilograms. And I, I did a little Googling afterwards to kind of allay my ego fears, I suppose. <laughs> my fear, my ego crumbling in and on itself. Um, and it seems I'm at the kind of weight now where people do start to struggle a little bit. Oh, these are hot springs. Can I go in there? Probably. What is... Is that a Goron? What am I looking at? It's just a rock. There's a Goron in the... Okay, we can go in there. That's <laughs> a good way to check. Hello. Oh, there's a shrine nearby. Who's that? Who's disturbing my bath? Hmm. A hilly and tourist, eh? How's the water? 
Bah, lukewarm. I'd like to relax in some really hot water. A lot hotter than this nonsense. By the way, I don't see many tourists like you equipped to stand up to the sea. I'm impressed. Ooh. Even still, don't you go near Redania. If you do, no matter how well prepared you are, you'll be burnt Ooh. to ashes. In any case, getting across the bridge of Elden is impossible right now. The boss raised the bridge to prevent Redania from coming over here. Sounds like a job for a cannon to me. Hello. Aww. Go, 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 but I'm think. Nonsense. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> Bouquet. Get go get go. Not really, no. I bid a treasure between gear and the bridge of Elden. Isn't it a blazing stick? Billy Bool. If booze bind it, it's boars. Okay, cheers, buddy. Where's this shrine at? He hid a treasure between something on the bridge. Didn't think that one through. <laughs> that bomb arrows instantly explode. Uh oh. Run, run, run! I need the loot! I need the loot! Oh, set on fire! Come here! No, stop it! Ah! Thank you. Oh, God. Oh, that was a lot of topaz. Anyways. So, yeah, I, I, so I did 5-5, five, five, 2 four, three. first week. And this week I did 5-5-5-3-3. Five, 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 three, three. Renowingly. So I increased by two reps. But it does make me think I'm probably going to end up deloading next week, which is fine. I'm kind of coming to terms with it. It makes me a little sad. I'm a little frustrated right now. I'm not going to lie. Like, it's going to bug me for the next day or so. Um, but I will, I will, I will get over it, probably. Oh, no. Under the, under the rock. Keys. Look at what's ha happening here. Prioritize, goddammit. There's more important things happening. The world is collapsing. Oh, hey. I literally didn't see you there. You're a sneaky little... Sneak a little lemon, aren't you? Don't do that! Come here! Come back, please. Come here. Right, come on. Up your pop. Up your pop. Come on. But anyways, yeah, I'm a little frustrated. It's, it's bench press is the only exercise where I am not constantly progressing right now. I, I'm, I'm at high weights. I know I am. I know I'm like in a in a position which is difficult to progress constantly. Logically, I know that, but it doesn't stop me feeling like, you know, I want to I wanna do better. Can you please get up here? I want your body parts when you... Come on, up. You're going to just drop in the... You're a nerd. I'm not even going to kill you. I'm going to leave you on low health to suffer. I'm not. <laughs> Maybe some of them will spill into a good area. That was not the case. So yeah, I'm a little frustrated. It is what it is. I've got one more week. So basically what I do is I try each, each weight three times. I'll try eight kilograms three times. And if I don't pull it off. Oh, I'm actually getting quite low. I burn through arrows like it's nobody's business, honestly. Um, I try each weight three times. And if I don't make it, then we do what's called a deload. And in a deload, you take 10% off the weight. Oh, that's a shrine. You take 10% off the weight and you work your way back up. And the idea is that you go to a lower weight and you can push loads of reps. And hopefully by the time you get to that higher weight again, you're... Dakako! Hopefully by the time you get to that higher weight again, you're good to go kind of thing. So from 80 kilograms, I will drop to 72.5 kilograms because we go up in 2.5s. So it sets me back three weeks minimum. But hopefully I can drop to 72.5. And the final set's what you call an AMRAP set. Where you do as many reps as possible. So I'd hope to do like five, 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 eight or nine, maybe, and just push and push and push on the 72 and the 75 and the 77, and then hopefully get to the 80 and be good to go. Anyways, that's really all I have to say on the matter. What on earth is going on here? Okay, what is this? Stalled flight. My inclination instantly is stasis. How was that do? Okay. I mean, that works, doesn't it? Oh, no. Oh, oh, wait. Can I freeze it up there? Oh, 
Okay. Ah, oh no, I'm so dead, I'm so dead. Run, run, run! Okay. I think I need a way... Can I get onto this rock? No. Wait, yeah, probably if I do this. I think I need to be on the rock. Like, oh, this is terrifying. Wait, no, this is fine, this is fine. Okay, I've got a plan, I've got a plan. Nailed it. No chest in here? I doubt it. Oh, no. It's over there. I have to go. Oh, no. I can't, I can't get out. Oh, no. All right, we're going to come back in and get the chest. <laughs> Anyways, that's all I wanted to say about working out. I'm done. Mm. Sorry. Nearly done. Um, the other thing... So, basically, I do a heavy bench press and a light bench press every week. Heavy bench press, I do five reps by five. Light bench press, I do three sets, but I do 12 reps. And my light bench press is 60 kilograms. So I lift 60 kilograms 12 times and then stop for a rest. Um, and I failed that last week as well. So <laughs> bench press, I've got two, I've got a failure on bench press on both heavy and light. And it's the only thing I've got a, a failure on. My deadlift went up to 120 kilograms this week. Didn't fail that, did that fine. Well, not fine. It's hard work, but I did it. Overhead press is fine. Bent over row is fine. That's on 80 kilograms now. Everything is fine. Except the goddamn bench press. <laughs> uh, logically, I know I'm at a hard way. I know I'm in a... T like, I know it's hard what I'm trying to achieve. Especially because I'm cutting. You know, I'm trying to lose weight at the same time. Trying to trim down a little bit. And that's worse. You should be eating lots and lots of food. You know, preferably to, to put on muscle and to lift stronger. But I'm still annoyed. I just... Uh, blah, blah, blah. I can't help but beat myself up a little bit. It's just who I am. Right, let's try this again. Well, not try again, I just wanna... Wait, maybe I can just... No, I don't think so. I think I need to be on this. But I don't need to freeze it or anything like that. There we go, easy peasy. Only one, probably it's only a little bit. I mean, I, yeah, it was just, that was worth 100 rupees, right? Yeah, no problem. Good stuff. And that's number nine. We're very, you know, we're not far off getting another, a, a, a triple. We've never done a triple before. Ooh, maybe a triple. Don't know what that's from, but it's from something. Right. Let's hop up this little hill. Plus, we really need the cash, actually. So 100 rupees is a big deal. I need to stop buying bloody arrows, I suppose. Okay, Moblin. Da, 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 da. Oh, just so you know, I mean, it might already, it's probably already happening by the time you see this video. I'm still thinking about all this. I really want to finish this game before the sequel comes out. Oh no, you know, Bo. Someone please help me. I'm on my way. I really want to finish this game before the sequel comes out. I'd like to play the sequel day one. And I think logically, uh, realistically, I think the only way that possibly happens is if we double episode. As in, I don't play anything else. We just play Breath of the Wild. So I usually try to avoid... Oh man, see I can't sneak up because of this nonsense. What are you doing? Maybe I can still sneak up. You saw nothing! You you might see me, but you... Okay, never mind, let's just... Yeah, that was, that was weird. Come here. Tough boy, aren't you? Now, I don't think these are fire guys, so ice arrows aren't going to do anything in particular. I don't find the jumping attack to be that, that good. Uh, but uh, but uh, It feels like ages since I've had to do like a proper fight, you know. Really need to do a cooking. Great. Oh, that was a high defense boost. I should have kept that. It's only short term one, though. Actually, I'm curious as to how big an effect this has. You die already. I know the claim was not great, but come on. There we go. And now I have to replace it with another claim ore. I mean, it's, it's it's a lot of damage for you. Give me your body. Thank you. Hmm. 
Lovely, lovely. Okay, buddy. But you know, but has got some abs on the go. That's a boy who does a bench press. <laughs> You're crazy strong. Goro, you saved me again. I'll talk to you in a sec, lad. I need... No! Don't... He, he distracted me, so <laughs> I couldn't... Bloody, um... What is this? A drill shaft. That's my uh, nickname in college. Yeah, yeah. We can get a beautiful... There we go. Exactly what I wanted. Look at that. What a beauty. Okay. Has no damage. It's rubbish. Is it a spear? Yeah, all right. You know, Bo. How you doing, Bo? Thanks for saving me, brother. I would have been in real trouble if you hadn't shown up when you did, Goro. <laughs> Sigh. <sighs> Still no sign of Bosse. He's not coming. Huh? Not coming? But why, Goro? His back hurts. Mm -hmm. After we went through all the trouble to get them, the painkillers didn't even end up working, Goro. Stop saying Goro. <laughs> it's too much Goro. We've boss got help. There's nothing else we can do. I suppose let's just head back now. Wait a minute! Huh? You're not going back, but why, Goro? I want to board Rudania. What? You're going to try to board the Divine Beast? Who do you think you are? Lord Daruk? It's dangerous in there, Goro. Mm. I guess if you weakened it first, it might be possible. But why risk it? I'm on a journey to save the world, I'm going to take control of it, etc, etc. Well, I don't really get it. I'm sure you have your reasons, Goro. <laughs> Please stop. The problem is, good old boss raised the Bridge of Elden to make that sure that mean Divine Beast can get over here. In order to get where Rudania is, we'll have to find a way to get the Bridge of Elden back down. Normally use the cannon to lower it. We can't get across unless we figure something out. If boss can't come down here, then he can't use the cannon to lower the bridge. Maybe I can use the cannon to lower the bridge. Yeah. Maybe we can get across after all. Let's just do what I do to help boss sometimes. That means I'm going to be the cannonball and you'll launch me, Goro. I got Danuk's protection, Goro. <laughs> Please stop. My ancestor's health can't possibly fail me. That means I can smash into anything that won't hurt one bit, Goro. My ancestor Daruk was a big deal, Goro. <laughs> That's what boss says, so it's just got to be true. And I can use Daruk's protection just like Daruk could. That means there's no need to worry, Goro. So rest easy, got it? Well, go on then. Take aim at the Bridge of Elden and fire away, Goro. <laughs> just, you know, be kind of gentle about it. Oh, God, my, my poor soul. Wait, how am I... How do I fire it? Am I, are we still putting a bomb in? This feels, this feels mean, but I'm going to do it. I don't know what else to do, so <laughs> this is how I fire it, you know? Off you pop, lad. There we go. That's a cool looking bridge. It's got a face on it. I love needless design. <laughs> you know, just design that looks cool for the sake of looking cool. He has a massive outie, doesn't he? We did it. See that, Goro? If we put our heads together, anything is possible. That power I got from my ancestor, Daruk's protection, it really is something else, isn't it? Anyway, I guess my time as a cannonball isn't over just yet. Let's get a move on and cross that bridge, brother. I'm going to no longer say the word Goro. The word Goro has been ruined eternally for me. All right, Goros. Okay, so let me just have a little peek here. <clears throat> I bid a treasure between gear. Bintin. I bid a. I hid a treasure between gear. Uh, between gears on the bridge of Elden, is an amazing stick. Really cool. If you find it, is yours. It's between the gears. Again, this feels like maybe I need to sort out the lava first. I think we're just going to do the Divine Beast and we'll go from there. I'm not going to do it, but... Divine Beast Varudania. That is awesome. I love, I, love a, I love a lizard, though, you know? It just looks really good. Oh, it looks sad. Oh, that's not cool, lizard. It's not your fault, buddy. It's Ganon's fault, I know. Look at these swirly little, swirly little bastards. Oh, I hate them so much. Oh, yikes. 
A century is always a nuisance, no matter what it, where it is or how many of them there are. If one finds you, Rodania will go nuts, which causes Death Mountain to erupt Goro. Always get spotted, and then magma bombs come raining down one after another. If Boss were here, he'd swap those magma bombs away like they were nothing and force his way up. I think you'd be able to do that, and I don't want to cause you any trouble. Maybe the best idea is for you to give me a signal to let you me know when I should stop and when I can move forward. Let's hurry and decide what the signal will be. A whistle. A whistle? That's a great idea. When I hear your whistle, I stop in my tracks and start moving forward. I like it. Even though it's kind of like calling a horse. Okay, then I'm counting on you and your whistles to make sure I'm not spotted by those awful sentries. Okay. I mean, you're following me anyway, so just follow me. It will be fine. Oh, no. Is that not, is that not the case? <laughs> but he stops anyway. I'm so confused. Like, is it in case I go a different direction or something? I guess so. Can he sprint? Can I get under here, buddy? Run! No, oh, you numpty. I, d I mean, I had to see it once, right? I mean, if this is all that happens, you're fine. <laughs> Let's go. Yep. Come on, run, 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 quicker, quicker. Okay, that's one down. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that is much more effective than I thought it was going to be. Come here. Okay, that's slightly... God, I have suffered so much pain doing this mission so far. Ow. Could have been so much easier. That that hurts my soul a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. Yes, okay, right, so I'm... Mm. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut the video till this point and explain some things. I did not realize that my goal as I go up this mountain was to keep firing Ginobo at Rudania. That is, that is the entire point. And I also didn't realize that these sentries could be very easily defeated by just bloody throwing metal blocks at them and stuff like that. I'll cut some of that into the video. You'll see some of it, I'm sure. I don't want to cut out the entire thing. But I, I spent a long time climbing this mountain and getting very frustrated and not knowing what to do. So, um, yeah. Gonna, gonna, gonna <laughs> ignore most of that. Gonna turn this way and hopefully this works. I think this is what I'm meant to do. Pew! You get him, buddy. Yeah, there we go. Now, assumably, Redania moves, we go up the mountain, we fire again. I found the next two cannons, and I was like, <laughs> I don't know what the cannons are for. For some reason, I was firing him at the sentries to try and take them out. It's not been my brightest day. I'm, a, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm not in a great mood, okay? <laughs> so. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Uh, there's a box up there. I'm going to show you that. Uh, you know what? I'll just show you this now. Stay there a sec, pal. Back in a sec. I can't believe I didn't realize. It's these. Oh no, messed. Up. Oh no, we're okay. These sentries are much weaker than the ones. You remember when we went up to the top of that citadel thing? Those sentries were monsters. These ones are a thousand times weaker. You just go bonk, <laughs> and it's sorted. It's fine. So this journey back up the mountain is going to be very chill because I've killed all the bloody sentries using boxes. You know, but come on, buddy. Come on, you big chunky so and so. Absolute aesthetic goals right there, by the way. Okay, I think there's literally one sentry that's going to be a problem. This one, there's a bloody oh, it fell. Wait, it reset. Okay, so there's a metal thing here side, as you can see. We don't hit it with this one, but what we can do is lift and lift and forward a little bit and plonk down back there. There we go. All these things that I missed on the way up. I really made this difficult on myself. I sat here 
I think I'm going to cut it out. I sat here and plucked about 25, 30 arrows into, <laughs> into one of the um, sentries to kill it to make my life easier. Could have just thrown a metal box at its face. It's not been my best day. <laughs> it's really not been my best day. I don't really know how I'm going to cut this video, honestly. In your pop, buddy. And fire! I think we're trying to like trap it at the top of the mountain, I suppose. I know, pal. We're gonna look. This is gonna be good for you in the long term, all right? Don't worry about it. It's all for your future health. We did it, Goro. Direct hit, Goro. <laughs> And thanks to Daruk's protection, that didn't hurt me one bit. If we keep weakening it like this, we should be able to get inside. Don't let up, brother. Alright, one more to go. And as I say, I don't believe there is a single sentry along the way that I haven't already murdered. Just with metal boxes, just like you saw a second ago. That's all I did. Yeah, well, just clear. We're just sitting up there somewhere. Ah, one of those days, folks. One of those days. And this is a game that's very good at giving you one of those days. It's a hard game. I, I'll give it credit for that. It, it's a game that, in some ways, it's very forgiving. You know, the fact that you can eat whilst climbing to get your stamina back or eat mid-combat and get all your health back, that, that is very forgiving, I would say. On the other hand, you get punished really heavily for mistakes, like in the damage you take. And if you're stupid, <laughs> like I occasionally dabble, um, things are much more frustrating than they should be. And that, I mean, I can't really blame the game for it. It's completely my fault, but I'm gonna, I can't blame myself, can I? That'd be silly, so. Come on, Goro. Hopefully the last one, because I actually got here last time and I don't know where to go next. So I've got to assume this is the final one. And fire! Oh, we're looking good. And steamy. What we always want, right? Very cool. How do I get to him up there? Is the question. If he's gonna go inside the volcano. Chance. Okay, how are we getting there is a cutscene. <laughs> you can do it, Goro. You got it, buddy. Just hurl yourself into the pit of lava. You'll be fine. I did wonder, because obviously when it was climbing the mountain, it was all at weird angles. So how would I stand on it relatively safely? Um, it had to flatten out somehow at some point. I really should have got more food before I tried this. Oh well. And probably spent my eight spirit orbs. <laughs> There's a lot of things I would have done differently. I suppose I could always leave, yeah. Travel gate registered. See, the thing is, I've said all this, that I should do all these things, and yet I'm not going to because of the timing hey, being awkward. Long time no see. Who's that? I always knew you. Oh, Daruk. You know, I never stopped believing in you. Oh. You're here to take control of old Rodania back from Ganon, eh? You're gonna need a map that shows the guts of this place. You can grab the info from the Guidance Stone over there. Now get a move on! Will do, buddy. Now, as we know from last time, Maps are terrifying. Maps are hugely important. Did not expect this. I don't have any arrows. It's 
not bad. I do have a torch, however. This is a little spooky. I did not expect this. Okay, nice. Oh, oh, plus durability, that's cool. Yeah, alright, see you later. <laughs> Let's use this one. I think there must be more lanterns I can light. Let's have, oh, hello. Okay, there's lots more torches. Oh, wait, isn't that the torch I just flung? That's probably the torch I just flung. Aha! Aha! Let me just have a little poke around, see if there's any more. I guess some light in here, you know? Spooky. Is that a ball hole? What are you? Oh, it is a, ah, it is a ball hole. That's an interesting ball hole. I mean, all ball holes are interesting, aren't they? Really? Is that guardian trying to murder me? How'd that work out for you, pal? <laughs> okay, I don't actually have any normal arrows left, so what if I got the most off? Ice, yeah. Does that work? Better bloody had to. <laughs> I'm in trouble otherwise. Ah! Hello? <laughs> what are you? I can't see anything. <laughs> Just, just hit it. Just hit it. Whatever it is. Oh, actually, I should have took a photo. Wouldn't have been a good one. Let's, let's go and get that torch back, shall we? Need some bloody light in here. It's interesting to me how this game works because of flexibility. I think you can do the divine beast in any order, right? Which means, in theory, they should all be approximately the same difficulty, um, including the bosses. But that inherently means every boss is going to be e unless they scale somehow. I wonder if they scale to your HP or something. Because otherwise, inherently, every boss gets easier than the last. Because by the time you get to the next one, you've got more hearts, you've got more stamina, you've got more, you've got better items. You, um, you know, you've got the power from the other divine beasts, which is obviously really strong as well. Is this the room I wanted? Yeah, okay, I'm hoping when I get this map that we're going to get some more lights, because, uh, yeah. She gets late authenticated. Distilling map of divine beast. Trip. I did the sound effects for this game. They, they scaled up the... They, they made it a little bit, you know, louder, but... I, not louder, they... What's the word? They raised the pitch a little bit, but that noise is actually just me going drippy, 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 drippy. So, you know. Hey, please have the lights on. <laughs> nice job getting the map of the Divine Beast. The terminals that control Rudania are noted by the glowing points on your map. To take back Rudania, you'll need to activate all of the terminals. It's not my first rodeo, buddy. You got this, little guy. Where you going, little? Yeah, there we go. My big strong boy, Gurg. Lovely stuff, right. Well, I saw something down here, didn't I? At least this time we got the map nice and early. <laughs> it wasn't like last time where I, I ignored it for like half an hour. So this, oh, but I don't have a ball. What's this do? Okay. Push. There we go. <laughs> it had to be one of the two. Oh, that's a terminal. Nice. She gets late authenticated. Four terminals remaining. That's the way. That's the way. You can do it. I hate that. 
Oh, I'm suspe um, suspicious. Where's my torch? Is this gonna work? Can I jump? Yeah, should be fine. Save myself a fire arrow. What? I think this might drop the ball, is what I'm thinking. No, but a chest, I'll take it. <laughs> I don't really thought they just boots it. Ah, gear, nice. Uh, right. So let, let's let's have a little look here. What can I control? That. Oh. Oh. <laughs> right. Interesting. Okay. Use this as an opportunity to run around a little bit like a dummy. I don't get what's on fire. Oh, my torch, obviously. Uh, right, interesting. And then back again? I don't have a bloody clue. A little, a little spooky, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, hey. No, my only arrow. My own, literally my only arrow. There's a torch thing here. I probably need that. Right, I shouldn't be using this weapon. How would I get a blue flame up here, though? I'm not sure. I think that's clearly what I have to do, but... Right now, I don't see how I would do that. Because, um... <clears throat> I can't climb with a blue flame. But we can do this, though. Got a little wonder. This one feels a little messier than the other one. In a way. Oh, hello. Oh, is this the final one? I think this is the final one. Never no, Yeah, okay. That's going to be really cool for a final boss fight, though. I'm very excited about that. Up here on top of its back in the middle of the volcano. That's pretty baller stuff. There is one on its tail. Let's figure that one out. There's an eye there, yeah. Go. So if I it's a chest there as well. Oh, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. So if I tilt this, which way is it? It tilts that way, yeah. Which is good. That's why I want. I didn't see that one there. Ah, 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 ah. Life is pain. Well, into the pit we go. God damn it. <laughs> so many little holes and just little doohickeys on the back. It's, it's hard to... I figured, though, if I fall off, I'm more likely to be able to just come back up straight away. Rather than if I manage to get back in, you know? Let's go grab this chest. It makes me more than a little nervous. Cool. Right, there's one very close by. Oh, it's there. Okay. I think now that I've done the... Um... Oh. <laughs> Come on. Why you... No. Oh, all right. Okay. Okay. That's fine. If I just... If I just... If I just... I just... I should be able to get this one now. Lovely, lovely. Two down, three to go. There are three terminals remaining. All right. Let's get moving. Don't stop moving to that funky, funky beat. Right. So, let's, let's, just, let's, let's just do these in a logical, somewhat order. There's one here somewhere. All right, there's that one there. If I rotate. There 
Nailed it. Maybe nailed it. No! <laughs> Temporarily nailed. Right, okay. That, that, that is going to work, though. I just need to... I just need to be better at video games. Do you have an eye somewhere? Whatever. Okay, let's try that again. It's a little ropey, but that's fine. I don't mind a little ropiness. God damn it. I have to do it a little earlier if I start sliding rather than um, whipping out the paraglider. Okay. There we go, number three. Very cool. There are two Okay, let's rotate back. <laughs> right. So there's one behind this door, assumedly with the, uh, let's have a look here. One up here. And there's one in there. I haven't seen the ball anywhere, though. Wait, do bomb, no, bombs don't work. I don't know where the ball is, is the main problem for that one. Um, and then, so I'm assuming that will open up to one. And there's one over here as well. Like below me? Somehow. I know I'm going to die, but it was worth a look, you know. I'll see it. Hmm. Yeah, fine. Like, it's just a bit of lava. But, oh, this, oh, okay. This might be relevant. Oh, oh, it doesn't move the... Oh, interesting. I guess I can get this pretty safely then. Okay, it's a bit rubbish, but whatever. I feel like I need to get a blue flame onto the roof. I can't... Imagine that's a coincidence that there's a, a lantern up there. What's that over there? Oh, okay. Um. Just a jumpy boy. Oh, I've put myself in a horrible position. <laughs> nah, I'm back again. Okay, so my current theory is... I need to get a torch up on... Right, so let's, let's grab a flame. Let's see what we can do with it. We're going to end it in a minute anyway, and then we'll we'll finish this off in the next video. Because there's no way I'm going to get this done and the boss done in this time limit, you know? Just looking for any lantern-y things we can see. I don't think there's any more. Right, now I can't do much with this torch at this point in time, so... Oh, there's a thing there. Are you relevant? Yeah, you might be. Just in case. Just in case. Oh, okay. Two chests. What? <laughs> there's chests all over the place in this one. There really is. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> that's all I want. That's like the best thing I can find is arrows. Oh, baby. He's so good to me. It's crazy. Okay, so I don't see anything else, which suggests to me that we grab a flame and then we turn... This thing over. Oh, it's a chest there as well. It's on there. 
wait, 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 I should probably figure it out before I take the torch everywhere. <laughs> what have you got from the game? That's fine. I don't really care. Uh, right. You know what? I'm going to take it just so I don't... Because if I see that... I have a concern that if I see that there, I'll end up going to get it again. You know what I mean? Like, I'll see the chest. i like, ooh, what's in this chest? Did it open from both ways? Hmm, no. Um, right. So yeah, need to need to have a little think about the next two, but um, I don't think they'll. I don't think it's gonna be that bad. I think it's just about getting the flame up to the top and then finding a ball somewhere. I'm using a bomb. I feel like if I go like if I flip it like around one of these ports, like maybe on this middle bit here, I can just run out with the flame, and that's what I need to do. Maybe I can just chuck it at the lantern. We'll try that in the next video. Until then, thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you lovely folks very soon. Cheers much of as always. Bye-bye.